Hello everyone, welcome back to the Retro Football Kit YouTube channel and the dust has settled on Euro 2020. And I don't want to talk about it, I don't want to talk about it, let's, let's move on, let's move on. <laughs> Business as usual now, I'm back on this channel, uh, the previews are over, back to top fives, tier list, all that kind of good stuff. Um, I think I will dash in a little preview here and there, maybe for some of the bigger games, because those were quite fun to make, but back to the normal stuff, back to the football kits. Today, got a nice special one for you, it's the top five Spain kits of all time. And I'm going to start where most places start, the Italian 90 Spain kit. Uh, a lot of football kits from that era are just special, but um, it was a toss up between this one and the 1982 one um, for me. Uh, but I think this one just pips it for, for a couple intricate details. First one being that uh, Adidas predominantly have sponsored Spain over the years. For the majority of Spain's existence, Adidas have um, sponsored them. But for, for a couple years here and there, the Cox Sportif have. And I think this, you know, that makes this kit just a little bit special. And they, they made a very nice one here. Uh, it's very clean, it's very sophisticated. They introduced this one little bit of yellow on the collar that just made all the difference from the ones previous to it. Of course, it's got a color. I'm a sucker for a colour and of course it's just your classic Spain red and, and and to be fair the away blue one with the couple triangle patterns that's also quite nice so I think this is the first entry it's really smart it's really sophisticated 1990 so moving forward from 1990 Spain had a couple big hitters in a row we all know you know 90s kits in general are just always better but Spain really took that and I think this there's a spell that I'm gonna run through now that were just really special and we'll start with 1994 of course 1994 was the USA World Cup a really really iconic tournament and uh, Spain were doing really well they had a great team they had players like Pep Guardiola Luis Enrique and they have they were doing well and they had a good tournament they, they lost in the quarterfinals to Italy Baggio's Italy there's not much you can do about that really is it but they were playing in oh, just in a stunning kit it's this one right behind me actually I just love it it's a very 90s kit uh, you've got the diamonds going down the front you've got a color and you know I like the fact that the set as well the set is the same di design across it all just different color grades and also what I like is it's not a template nowadays Adidas just churn out loads of templates and that was a problem and I, we spoke about that in the 2020 tier this video this was unique to Spain and it, it's just I like that kind of stuff it's much better having your own design and what I did like about Adidas is in 2018 they redid some of the old classic kits that they used to make so this one was remade for Spain's 2018 kit and you know teams like Germany and other teams like that they did the same thing so like I said it was hit after hit so if you move on to the next tournament 1996 Spain again had a wonderful kit and I think you know for the very similar reasons why I like this kit the 94 kit I like this kit because it's unique to Spain and something I've not seen before really it's like the the stripes down the front so the Adidas stripes went down the front behind the badge and across and I, I don't think I've ever seen that before so I, I do like that I like the classic Adidas logo centrally and I like the collar very smart it's just again very unique very 90s uh, and of course I threw this one in there as well because I could talk about the fur kit because look at that that's just stunning, I think. I absolutely love it. That was the template, unfortunately, but Spain did it well. And then again, go to the next tournament, 1998 Spain. Again, just they don't make them like this anymore. This is unreal. We actually recently just sold this, so I couldn't even have it for this video, but it's just, oh, I love this kit so much. Again, unique in its own way. Adidas stripes going this way across the shoulder opposed to down the shoulder. You've got these big bowl patterns and that color, my God. That kind of something, isn't it? They just don't make them like this anymore. This is a tournament to forget for, for Spain. Doesn't matter, because this kit's gorgeous. So I'm going to jump ahead now, a bit further down the line, and you can't talk about Spain and Spain kits without talking about their absolute era of dominance. This, this was next level superiority over all international tournaments. They won the Euros, the World Cup, and the Euros back to back to back. Absolutely insane. Like, I remember growing up, you know, thinking, how do you beat that Spain team? There's just no, there's just no way. But uh, if you want to talk about the most famous day, it's 2010, isn't it? Spain lifting the first ever trophy. And they lifted it in this kit right here. And, it, you know, it's a very nice kit. It's a very classic Adidas Spain kit. There's nothing too special about it. But there's a story behind it. So not only is it the first time they've won, of course, that's huge in so many ways. But in the actual final itself, they wore the away kit. They were playing the Netherlands. There was a kit clash. They were wearing their away kit. So 
when it comes to winning and lifting the trophy, they wanted to be in the red kit. They wanted to be representing Spain. So they all got changed really quickly for all the photos, so all the newspapers, all the TV shows. They were wearing this, not the away kit they played in. I just think that's brilliant. Very John Terry-esque, but to be fair, they deserve it more than him running on. And I'm a Chelsea fan. Probably very harsh. He deserved it. <laughs> So that's it, yeah, back to normal programming, talking about kits again. I enjoyed the previews, but, you know, we're talking about kits again. And uh, so make sure you subscribe for that. Uh, and you know what? We're going to be doing a lot of tier lists coming up. Uh, new kits are coming left, right, centre. Some absolute stunners, some absolute shit ones. <laughs> um, so you know what? We're going to be doing a tier list for them. We're going to be doing a Syria. We're going to be doing a La Liga. And we're going to be doing, of course, Premier League. So make sure you subscribe to see them coming out very, very soon. Uh, of course, check out the website. Shirts like this are on there. Thanks for watching. Thank you.